Hi DIY friends, it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. I also want to thank Canon for sponsoring today's video. We are hacking photo paper today, which is so perfect for the holidays. For the first project, we're going to grab some wood rounds. I found mine at the dollar store, but you can also order these online too. I'm so obsessed with them. I've made so many awesome things with them, but I have a new idea for you today. Now I am so thrilled to be partnering with Canon for this video and all of these projects. They have an amazing and very useful printer that would make a great new addition to any crafter's creative tools arsenal. This is the Canon Selfie CP1500 Wireless Compact Photo Printer. I found this so easy to grab out for smaller scale projects like the ones I'm featuring today. It's so easy to print photos and other artwork using the Print app. The app offers many formats and size options. You also have the option to print from a memory card, Facebook, Instagram, or with AirPrint. I tend to use the print app as it is so easy. I just pick my picture and once you're ready, you hit print and you'll have a beautiful photo to create with. It only takes about 30 seconds per photo, which is amazing. The Canon selfie would make the perfect gift for those that enjoy making memory books, home decor, even college students and teens that like to decorate their rooms with memories. Thanks again to Canon for sponsoring this video. Now on to more crafting. Now, since these wood discs come in a pack of three, I went ahead and chose three photos to put one photo on each ornament. Now, these are photos from Christmas last year that I never got around to turning into ornaments. I lo always love to have a photo on the tree from each Christmas. So we're gonna make up for it right now and then I'll have to make some more for this Christmas too. But it's so easy to make these personalized ornaments. I just laid one of the discs on top of the photo, making sure I got everybody's faces in there and detail that I wanted and then used a marker drew all the way around it and then took my scissors and cut this shape out. Now I went ahead and laid this on the ornament for scaling and sizing. I wanted to have more of the wood showing around this photo. So just took my scissors and went around and cut a little bit more off until I was happy with the sizing. And now we can attach this onto the ornament. I highly suggest using, it's not like a liquid glue, something like a double-sided tape like I'm using here, like a tape runner so that you don't get wrinkling on your photo. And then I took an owl, punched the hole through the ornament and through the photo so that way I could add my string through here. So I'm using jute. I really like that rustic-y look, but you could use some metallic cording, some ribbon, whatever matches your Christmas decor. Went ahead and did that same process to all three photos. Something important you never want to forget to do is write the year or the date on the back of your ornaments so that you remember when the photos were from. As years go on, you may forget. So this is a, just a quick and easy way to add the date and the memories onto the back with a black marker. And here we are. Quick, easy ornaments that will last for years to come. Now you don't have to just print photos with this printer. You can also print crafting items or holiday items like these gift tags. So I will have a free printable down in the description box below. I have another one for you at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned to that. This is a great way to personalize your packages. You could even make them to where they say from and your family's name, which saves you so much time. You just print them out. You can use the same photo paper that comes with the printer and then just trim it out with scissors. Take a hole punch, punch your holes in those gift tags tags, add some ribbon, add some string, and you can add them to your gifts. I'm not sure why, but I feel like some gift tags are just so incredibly pricey, but doing it this way, you're going to save a ton of money, especially if you personalize them and you make them match your Christmas decor, your Christmas packaging, and they are so quick and easy. And how cute are these? Like I said, again, make sure to check the link in the description box below to this free printable. 
One of the very cool features in the print app is that they also have a bookmark layout that you can choose. Insert the photos that you want, kind of scale them, move them around till you're happy with them. And of course, print them out. You get two bookmarks on one piece of paper. And of course, they make adorable bookmarks. I'm going to show you how to make that here quickly. And then keep this layout in mind because I have two more project ideas for you using this setup. To make a bookmark, print it out, cut it out add a little hole punch at the top, and then you can insert some kind of ribbon or string or twine and just kind of fold it over, add a little uh, staple in the top so that your ribbon stays in place. You don't have a big knot at the top, which kind of gets in the way of being a bookmark. And then I love this. I think this would be a great gift to pair with a book and it makes a great gift idea. Now, like I said, I have more ideas for you. You can also turn these into magnets. So I have this cool little machine that you just kind of feed whatever you want through it. You turn the knob and then it will pull the item through the backside. And as it does it, it turns it into a magnet. It is so cool. It even like trims it off in the back, has a little blade on the back. And once you cut it off, it will look like this. To turn these into magnets, we're gonna push down, make sure all that laminating on top is secured down. And you just take your scissors and cut out each individual photo. Now this layout is great if you want lots of little photos, but keep in mind you can also put regular size photos through there too and make larger photos if you'd like. But how cute are these? Another great way to decorate your kitchen, your refrigerator at Christmas time, or even bundle them up and give them as gifts. This is another awesome idea using that bookmark layout. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a picture of one of each of my kiddos and our puppy. I'm going to send those through the Canon selfie. And then we're going to turn these guys into stickers. So we're going to trim this out so that it is smaller using scissors again. And then I have another contraption that will actually turn these guys into stickers. You feed it your pictures or your item, whatever you want to turn into a sticker through the front. You pull on the tape that runs through it, pull it all the way through. And then this one also has some teeth on the back. So you just pull it out and then rip it off in the back and then you'll push down on the photos and remove the top plastic and you have instant stickers. However, I want to use mine in a really unique way. So I'm going to cut all of mine down into individual pictures one at a time. And then I got a brand new planner for the new year. And I thought it'd be so cute to add each one of these stickers into my planner onto each one of my kiddos birthdays. So Alyssa's is May 24th. Went ahead and just stuck that right down on there. Kind of a unique way and fun way to represent birthdays. You could do this with all the holidays and yes, our puppy's on there too. She'll be celebrating her first birthday in the new year. So you don't want to forget that. Just fun and easy and a unique different idea. I think there are still some of us that enjoy and give out Christmas cards every year. You'll have to let me know down in the comments below if you do or not. This is a great and quick, easy way to make personalized Christmas cards, just adding a photo to the front, but we're going to make it to where you can actually save the photo and you don't have to necessarily keep the Christmas card, which I love that. So what we're doing here is we're laying our photo on top of a already made Christmas blank card. You can find these in bundles at the craft store and we're just cutting slits into the corners there and then sliding our photo up into those slits. So I did the top two corners first. We're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. Just hold your photo up, cut those angle cuts into the card and then slide your photo into those cards or into those openings. So easy. And then we're going to add a little extra special something onto the envelope. I love these. They're colored glue sticks and you can make your own wax seal with them. So you just put your stamp on the top, let it dry and cool for a few minutes, pull it off and then look at that cute little seal. It just really is an easy, simple way to make something feel really special. 
I love this next decor slash gift idea. This is a wood block and also a little candle cup. Both are from the craft store. We're gonna paint them up. I'm doing mine like a wood tone brown, but of course you paint your project whatever color you want. I like this because we have a lot of white furniture, so the wood kind of contrasts nicely against it. Once those are painted, let them dry, and then we're going to attach these two together with some hot glue. So putting some hot glue on the rim of the candle cup and then just picking a side and gluing that onto the wood block. So what we're making here is a photo display. These are four photos that I chose. They're from our vacation this past summer to Galveston. Definitely memories I wanna keep and display. So I printed those out with sort of a collage style layout on my print app and then just cut them out with my paper trimmer. They are the perfect size square for these wood blocks. Again, using my tape runner on the back side of the photos and then just centering them within the squares of the block, one on each side. So here's what that's looking like. Super duper cute. Like I said, memories I definitely wanna cherish. This is a great way to save memories that you cherish. And you can leave it like that if you're happy with it. But I also had this knob that had just been laying around. I, add, I added that to the top using a combination of hot glue and super glue and let that dry and then sat that on our bedroom dresser. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. It's also a great way to kind of capture those memories and have them on display. And like I said earlier, I have another free printable for you. I have this whole kind of forest, trees, dark green, theme going on for Christmas in our home this year. So I made this piece of artwork and I will link it down below for you to be able to download and print if you want. This paper also comes with little perforations on it. So you just kind of rock it back and forth and you can peel the top and bottom off and they're instantly four by six size. They fit into picture frames, easy peasy. This is from the dollar store just threw the picture in there and I couldn't leave well enough alone. We're gonna add some jute to make this look a little bit more rustic and custom onto the front. Easy peasy, quick, simple. Print your own artwork, print your own photos, frame them, make them custom. Love this. Again, check the description box below, not only for the free printables, but also to the Canon selfie. You don't wanna miss out on having that awesome tool in your craft arsenal. I have used it for several things this holiday season already, and I know I'm going to be using it a lot more throughout the rest of the new year. If you haven't yet, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button, join our DIY family here, hit that thumbs up button, and I want to thank you all so, so much for joining me today. I will see you in the next one. Happy holidays.